if it ain't Boeing, I ain't going. For decades, Boeing's reputation among airline pilots has been second to none. For the flyers, the plane maker had a rock-solid image with unshakable trust. But today, Boeing is mired in scandals with headlines of glitches, mishaps and severe lapses. From fatal airline crashes to mid-air accidents, Boeing has had a major fall from grace. From the ground to up in the sky and now in outer space, Boeing's problems are only getting worse. Its latest misstep has possibly left two astronauts stranded in space, Indian origin American astronaut Sunita Williams and her crewmate Barry Wilmore. On June 5th, these two NASA astronauts were sent to the International Space Station on Boeing's spacecraft Starliner. It was a first test mission for Starliner. The mission was to determine if Boeing's capsule can safely transport humans to and from space. It was supposed to last around eight days. However, it has been over three weeks and Williams and Wilmore are still in space. So what's keeping Sunita Williams tethered to the ISS? And why has Boeing's foray into space hit turbulence? Let's try to find out. The Boeing Starliner's return to Earth has been postponed three times by NASA and Boeing. NASA says that they are keeping astronauts in space for the objectives of the mission. Boeing claims that the Starliner is clear to return to Earth in case of an emergency on the ISS. However, there are other issues at play here. Before the Starliner took off from Earth, a small leak of helium gas was found in the capsule. However, engineers believed that it would not affect the mission. So they went ahead with the launch. That wasn't all. During the Starliner's journey to the space station, four more helium leaks were found. Helium is used in the spacecraft to help move fuel to the engine, also known as the propulsion system. This system consists of several thrusters. It helps steer the spacecraft in space and slow it down when returning to Earth. During Starliner's journey, five thrusters of the capsule also stopped working. While the issues were adding up, NASA officials continued to downplay them. We have two problems on this vehicle right now the helium leak and figuring out how to fine-tune these thrusters so that they're not selected off. Those are pretty small, really, issues to go deal with and we'll figure them out for the next mission. Uh, so I, I don't see these as significant at all. As days dragged on, NASA started delaying the astronauts' return. First, June 9th. It was postponed to give more time to the crew to finalize departure planning. Later, on June 18th, the departure was postponed for another nine days. This time, NASA said they wanted to do a more detailed assessment of the helium leaks and the thruster issues. And finally, on June 21st, NASA said that flights are delaying the return of the Starliner as the crew reviewed the propulsion system. This time, NASA did not provide a specific date for the spacecraft's return. NASA hinted that Sunita Williams and her crewmate may not return until after July 2nd. Delays are nothing new for Boeing Starliner. The spacecraft even failed to launch on its scheduled time. On multiple occasions, astronauts had to come out of the rocket minutes before the liftoff. Boeing's dream to venture into space has been nothing but a long history of delays. NASA first contracted the company to build a spacecraft in 2014. It was given a fixed grant of $5 billion to make the spacecraft. A decade on, the firm had to spend an additional $1.5 billion out of its pocket to make the Starliner. Boeing unveiled the Starliner in 2019. The space capsule took its maiden flight, an uncrewed mission to the International Space Station. However, it failed to reach its destination. A software glitch was blamed for this. Later, NASA's review found that the Starliner narrowly avoided a catastrophic failure. After years of delays and fixes, in 2022, the Starliner finally completed a successful uncrewed test flight. Boeing aimed for its first Starliner mission with astronauts in early 2023. However, it was put on hold after more issues were found in the capsule. These setbacks seem to be adding to Boeing's reputation. 
we're talking about Boeing Aerospace. The company that makes aircraft like the 737 MAX and the 787 Dreamliner, among others. These jets have been under scrutiny for many mishaps, leading to several allegations against Boeing about the manufacturing process. While the Boeing space program comes under a different unit, both seem to have been marred with issues. Boeing delays have also raised scrutiny over NASA. In 2011, NASA retired its government-run space shuttle program to reduce government costs and create a market for space travel. In 2014, NASA contracted private firms to build commercial spacecraft. The first two contracts were handed out to Boeing and SpaceX. While Boeing's Starliner project has faced numerous issues and delays, SpaceX has successfully conducted multiple astronaut launches for NASA. NASA heavily relies on SpaceX's Dragon capsule for its missions. As for astronaut Sunita Williams and her crewmate Barry Wilmore, NASA and Boeing have continued to say that they are not stranded in space and they just want to ensure whatever decision they take is based on data. The Starliner spacecraft can remain docked at the International Space Station for up to 45 days and, if necessary, up to 72 days using backup systems. NASA says they are closely reviewing data and running simulations. Although in any unexpected case the Starliner cannot safely return the crew, experts say NASA could use SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft as an alternative. While Sunita Williams may eventually return, the issues with Starliner have once again raised questions over Boeing's priorities. One more project infested with leaks, glitches and delays highlight how deep-rooted the troubles are at the aerospace giant. Meanwhile, for NASA, the question is whether or not it will give certification to Boeing Starliner and allow it to take more crews to space. For now, we'll just have to wait for the return of the astronauts and Starliner's fate. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.